unless one becomes one like a child, he shall not enter the heavens. This is such a great verse. Christ was the reason why he was so much humility and humanity and love. Because and, all he wants to do is love us. God created us to love us. But he also wants to do one thing with his free will this entire time that we're down here. He wants to show you, or he wants you to prove to him that you need him. I need my dad, my earthly dad. I want my dad. I love my dad. But I know he's my dad for one reason. Because I can see him. I can touch him. I can hug him. Give him a kiss. Give him a high five. Have a relationship with him. It's the exact same thing that God wants for us is a relationship with his creation. But he wants you to believe in him without him proving you, his, himself to you. How do I explain this? If Christ, Satan himself was an archangel, and was casted out of heaven because he said he, you know, he says he's gonna make his heavens higher than God, which doesn't make any sense to me. That's a totally different subject, but that that beyond doesn't make any sense because he was created. I don't understand why you say to a creator that created you, uh, something like that. It's just arrogance and ignorance. Uh, but that's a different topic, completely different topic. But this is how I can explain it. God created us for one reason. Love. Complete love. Angels marvel about salvation. There was demons are nothing but angels. We're angels. Cast out of heaven. There's no no one died for angels. Like God God sacrificed himself for Jesus Christ sacrificed himself for us. There's redemption for our sins because of Christ. They, angels marvel about salvation. How easy it is. Jesus is Lord. For God so loved the world that he gave his only begotten Son, that whosoever believeth in him shall not perish, but have everlasting life. It's free. It's 100% free. And it's the only thing in the world that really counts while you're down here. Why worry about tomorrow when today isn't even promised? Does not God, the exact same par parable, does not God himself still feed the birds of the air? How much more do you think you are to him than just birds of the air? You will eat tomorrow. You will be clothed tomorrow. You will breathe tomorrow. Don't worry about the day, the day after tomorrow. Pray. Love. Love one another. God wants to spend eternity in heaven with you, with me. As long as you can acknowledge him and have a relationship with him down here without him proving himself to you. That gains one thing in God's eyes. Trust. Hey, what happened? 